You've watched all the movie Yellow webisodes. You've been trained to film school, but you're on set now and it's your first day on the job, right? There's some things you probably haven't been trained for. What do you do when the director or the DP says, where's the gaffer's tape? There's a big difference between gaff tape, which is sometimes called duct tape, or duct tape, D-U-C-T tape, okay? One of them has only 1.9% reflection, and the other one is really quite bright and it reflects the light. This one's really good for permanent work, for wrapping around things that you're never gonna wanna take it off of. Gaff tape is really good because it comes off, gaff on, gaff off, very easily. And we'll talk about how to get the little bit of residual that sometimes stays further on down the line. The thing I like about gaffer's tape is because it's made out of cloth and it's adhesive and it sticks, but the good thing about it is it rips. It rips easily. You can rip it in a straight line because it's made of cloth on one side, adhesive on the other. So you can rip it straight across. You can pull a long piece and then cut it into thinner strips very, very easily. And that really comes in handy. But what they've done in the last few years is they've actually invented narrower versions of gaff tape. If you look on the shelf here, you'll see yellow, blue, red, green, brown, all different colors. Why on earth would we need that many different colors of gaff tape? Well, the camera departments use these different colors sometimes to mark each camera person's gear so that when you're on the set, you don't get mixed up about what belongs to who and things don't get lost in the grip truck. This is hazard tape. That's used an awful lot in productions to keep people away from things that could be dangerous. Believe me, it really works. And remember the old days of film? This was used a lot when we would wrap up the film, or even now, just so that it's not x-rayed in transit. That's very, very important. And then in the old days, of course, and in some productions, we used don't expose the film tape. These are just different different widths of the different colors. Um, this is a silver mylar tape that's very, very easy to see and very reflective. Sometimes it's, it's useful to have that as well. And this is what's called Roscoe Glow Tape, used on a lot of theater productions because it glows with a UV light in the dark so that the actors can find their way onto the stage in between takes and, and just hit their mark really comes in handy. Before we go further down the line, there's one thing I just thought of. You really do need to know how to take the adhesive off. My method of choice for getting rid of any kind of tape residue is WD-40. Just soak it on, whether you spray it on or you put it on a rag and just rub it on there, leave it on for a few minutes and it wipes right off. And then another little secret is nobody seems to talk about it. Maybe it's because I'm half Sicilian. Olive oil works too. Let's go over here, I wanna to talk to you about weather conditions and why you need to know about this new tape that came out a few years ago. This is called, we call it cold weather tape, but actually it's good for heat or cold. There was a moment on the set of Stargate a few years ago, 120 degrees in the middle of the desert when my recording equipment actually started to melt. You can imagine what was happening to the gaffer's tape that was being used on the set. I wish we had had this at the time because this is good to 180 degrees centigrade. It's also good in sub-freezing, so we use it on ski patrol to fix broken equipment, to put things onto the, the gurneys. It's just really great for that. Paper tape is amazingly useful. It's not as sticky as gaffer's tape, and it, I use it to mark the clapper because it pulls off very, very easily. It doesn't have as much residue on the back, and you can write on it more easily with a Sharpie. If it's a job that takes uh, tape that you need to mark on, for example, a mixing board on the in the studio. The sound mixer will take the tape, he'll lay it all the way across the sound mixer, and then he'll mark the different channels on the tape so that he can see easily in the dark or low light what's on each of those uh, sliding pots. I love this baby. When you're on a set and you have things that are gonna make noise or that you don't wanna have vibrate, you use this because it's sticky. It's really kind of sticky. It's almost like a tape version of clay. So you can put it on the back of cabinets. You can put it on sound equipment. You can put it on like me when I'm taking this tape up and down like this and making noises. You can buffer the noises. So this really comes in handy as well. Can you see there's something for everybody? 
but you need to know that if you're gonna build a good kit. This is artist tape, we call it painter's tape, masking tape. When you're painting the set and you want a nice clean line, you use this tape because it comes off very, very easily without pulling any of the paint off. So this is the masking tape that they use. And guess what this is used for? Can you guess? Maybe measuring? <laughs> this is the original color of the original gaffer's tape. I'll tell you a really quick story. My father landed first wave on the beach in Normandy on D-Day, and everything in their amphibious Jeep got knocked overboard. He lost everything. He lost his ammunition, his gun, his sleeping bag, and the Jeep itself was underwater. He survived the first day, and the next day they went back, and they picked up the ammunition boxes from underwater. They used an amphibious unit, they went underwater, and they picked up the ammunition boxes, and what kept them dry was the original version of gaffer's tape, first invented in the 40s by Johnson & Johnson. So that's how long gaffer's tape's been around. This is the original green, and it went to black soon after that. So that's a brief tour of the gaffer's tape, duct tape, paper tape, and all the other kinds of tape that are available here at Film Tools. Come on in, take a look. I know I use it all the time. I need to do that again. Cut.